and welcome to Millionaire. Please welcome Jess Schulman, who got on a bus in Pittsburgh at 10 p.m. last night and didn't get here until 5 a.m. this morning. You must be pooped. Yeah, I'm yeah. really tired. Did you sleep at all? Um, you know, maybe a little bit in, here and there, but it was a rough, rough trip. So, what, would you, you probably need a vacation at this point. Yeah, I, I'm thinking, you know, between studying and the stress and the bus ride, take a vacation. Maybe a honeymoon sometime oh, soon. Who knows? That's very nice. Your boyfriend is actually in the audience. Chuck's yeah, in the audience. Nice definitely. to see you, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck looks a little like uh, you haven't... Chuck, you looked a little like you hadn't heard this honeymoon thing. <laughs> Has that been brought up? Because I don't look surprised. You, you no. looked a little, a little shocked. <laughs> well, are you actually planning the wedding? or? You know, we just talked about Talk it about a little it, yeah. here and there. Yeah, all right. Well, we don't talk here. We are, we're action here, okay? Right. You answer 15 questions, and I give you the Capital One check for a million dollars. All right, Dad? Right, we don't talk about it. We do it. So I've got to tell you, Jess. At this point, that's all that separates you from a million dollars, 15 questions. You have three lifelines to help you. And when you get to 25,000, you'll get that fourth lifeline. Switch the question. Okay. Are you ready to play millionaire? I'm ready. Audience ready to play millionaire? Yeah. For $100, what word is commonly paired with the adjective fancy free to describe a person with no commitments? Flighty, footloose, feverish, unemployed. <laughs> um, the answer is B, footloose, final. Footloose and fancy free, absolutely right. You got the first hundred. For 200, Jess. Capitalizing on his TV fame, Ken Jennings released a book in 2006 it focuses on what subject? Crocodile wrestling, celebrity fashion, trivia questions, French cooking. Um, big fan of Ken Jennings. I think he's great. Of C, trivia questions, final. Yeah, he is great. You gotta write the story about it. The 300 Jeff. Which of these fairy tale creatures shares its name with a word that means a frightening person? Ogre, elf, unicorn, mermaid. Just like Shrek, A, Ogre, final answer. Yeah, except he was so nice. You got it for $300. 500. What hit Aerosmith song opens with a woman's voice saying, second floor, hardware, children's wear, ladies lingerie? Walk this way, crying, sweet emotion, love in an elevator. I think it's D, love in an elevator. That makes sense, it is. You got it right. In order to classify their garments as haute couture, designers must meet formal fashion criteria established by what country? Russia, France, Brazil, Germany. B, France, final. Absolutely, Jeff. The worst is over. Can't leave it less than a thousand. Going for two thousand here. In 1856, inventor Gail Borden patented a process for making what food product? Condensed milk, vegetable shortening, corn syrup, margarine. I'm going to say A, condensed milk. Final? Final. Oh, it is condensed milk. Feeling a little more awake? Yeah, a little okay. bit. <laughs> Going for 4,000. The famous Lincoln-Douglas debates took place in 1858 between two men running for what office? U.S. President, U.S. Senator, Governor of Illinois, Illinois State Senator. Yeah, I think I'm going to ask the audience on this one. No problem. Audience just needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 53% say U.S. President, 24 for U.S. Senator, and down from there. It's an okay number. It's... I'm going to go with the audience, I think. I'm going to say A, U.S. President. I'll make it my final answer. It's 
not U.S. president, oh. which was a U.S. senator. I'm sorry, Jess, but you have a thousand dollars. Pleasure to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your stay in New York. Thank you. Go right up, Alan.